Everybody, how y'all doing? Today, my name is Tay. Welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective. And today is called Came, Salt, and Conquered. Now, before I get started, get this mask. Yeah, <laughs> I think I showed you a few months ago when I first advertised it. But um, if you want to get this, I know a lot of places don't require masks no longer, but there's still some that do and then still it's no people want to be protected <laughs> but when they mask so go ahead and get your mask <laughs> what you wait for i'll make sure i'll put it in my description where you can get it from on my account on teespring.com so go ahead and get that yeah the reason why i wanted to talk about this i actually got this title from my auntie <laughs> i think a few months ago um she said like you came the city you came saw and conquered <laughs> you know when i first had the opportunity and, you know, it, it didn't call for it, but just, just by me being a person of ambition and pretty much doing what I put my mind to and coming to a new place to pretty much establish God's territory, put me in the light as, okay, this this girl a go-getter. <laughs> like, she, she about, about her, not only her father's business, but she about getting stuff done, get stuff handled. And that's pretty much what she said came salt and conquered like you came here to this town and you, you did what you said you're gonna do and like yeah i'm really well she is proud i'm really proud of you but i, I really don't like to use proud <laughs> um she's i'm proud of you that's what the the, the title came from now pretty sure a lot of us heard the saying like came salt and conquered meaning i was originally in another county you all know i really didn't want to leave even though i was dealing with toxicity and just Things being like so uh, incredibly expensive, the cost of living for me to live there, and just there was no really growth um, spiritually, even physically, really. But I really didn't want to leave. And you know, I left when I originally came to that city, I wanted to start a new life. Originally, for like, I just knew that city was a transition at the time. Like, I really wasn't planning on staying there. It was just somewhere, okay, let me get out of this toxicity that I'm in and let me just sit here for a while. I don't know how long, but I'm gonna say, stay here for a while and then, you know, move on to what I thought God would, you know, have something else for me. However, it didn't work out that way. And a little bit after, but God showed me. He gave me confirmation, like, yeah, you are blessed in that place. And when I, when I read it, I actually read it in the Bible, I know people were like, hmm? I was like, okay. <laughs> wow, God. But it's important to me to say, okay, I'm going to stay here and establish what God have for me. So a little bit after, I actually, when I first moved there, I was looking for a place of real of my own i just wanted to get established and after that situation that happened i still was like okay i need to get a place of my own and do what i have to do it pretty much um goes with the scripture where it says faith without works is dead how many times people could say certain things and i could actually really mean it but if you're not putting your foot to work <laughs> you're not moving your foot you're not actually doing something then it's pretty much void and when I say put your foot to it, because you know how many times you can actually move your foot, but be in the same place, you're not moving at all. You see the person that where it's like they're moving, they're moving their foot, and moving their body, but they're in one place. No, you have to move your foot and actually move your body <laughs> and get out of that place that you was currently in. I much came to the place that I saw, I pretty much saw out what I wanted to accomplish. Okay, when I come here, I want to do this, I want to get my own place, I want to get my kids, I want to do this and that. So I pretty much saw what I wanted to accomplish. Conquer, you know, you can only conquer through Christ Jesus. Some people think, you know, conquering is pretty much doing things by your own strength. If you look at it with David, when he killed Goliath with a slingshot, it wasn't because David was just so strong, big and strong, because Goliath was actually bigger than him. However, the only reason why David won is because he had Jesus Christ. So in order for you to conquer, whatever you came to pretty much seek out, then you have to take Jesus with you. He has to be with you at all times in order for you to conquer. And that's what you say, I conquer, I, I, um, I won this fight. Every fight that I fought, I don't won. Everything that I don't did, I never took Jesus in it. I always won. Okay, how long do you think that's going to happen? And also, too, you might have won 
physically, but spiritually, you get attacked uh, spiritually when you don't have nobody to pray for you or you don't know how to pray for yourself when you pretty much going through certain things. Let's see if you so strong then. Let's see if without you having Jesus, can you conquer it all then? Okay? I conquered because I had Jesus. Every trial that I went through, whether I had my ups or had my downs, I pretty much had Jesus with me. <laughs> I had Jesus with me, baby. But I'm pretty much telling you too, in order for you to um, succeed, in order for you to conquer, you need to have Jesus. The God tells you, tells you in his word that not seek, you will find. Not seek, the door will be opened to you. So you can seek them. God wants you to seek. However, if you keep seeking and he gives you the answer, okay, do it, apply it, do what you got to do. Don't just seek it and it's like, okay. But it's saying in the words like, um, look at yourself in the mirror and beholding your appearance and you're pretty much walking away, you're not doing nothing about it. So you got to do something about it. <laughs> don't just look at it. Don't just hear, hear the resolution, the solution, but you're not doing nothing about it. Whether you come to a city, whether you come to a state, whether you even come to a country, whether you come to even the grocery store around your corner, to the store across the street, to your neighbor's house or something. Like, when you come, is there a purpose? Like, are you coming just for the tea <laughs> to get the news and gossip? Are you coming to the store just to shop for your own self? The cold store just to shop for you, just to shop for your kids? Or are you going with a purpose? Are you going, okay, I'm going to shop for my kids, for myself, but if I see this other individual, I'm going to talk to them about God. Is there a purpose? The reason why you came? Oh, I, I came because I was low on milk. <laughs> I was low on bread. I went to the grocery store because I, I need to fill my pantry back up. Okay, that, that's all good. <laughs> but don't feel just fill your pantry up. Fill a soul up. Fill a person up with the word. And I'm telling myself that too. You know, even though I do talk to people, but I can do a lot, way a lot more. So, when I say came, sought, and conquered, do it with God's strength and do it with the right intentions of God behind it. Don't do things on your own strength because you think you got your own strength because your own strength is going to fail you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say regarding it, y'all. Make sure you like, make sure you come, make sure you seek out, and make sure you conquer in the mighty name of Jesus. And subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all have a blessing.